In this video I'm going to show you how to create slopes and fluid drains in a 3D model. This is a parking level where I'm going to add slopes for fluid drains. I want to create slopes with about 2% and a maximum depth of 4 inch. That means the length of a sloped area can be 16 foot and 8 inch long. The distance between the drains shouldn't be more than 33 foot and 4 inches. The vertical distance is around 56 foot and 5 inches, so I will separate it in two halves. In horizontal direction I create a grid with 33 foot and 4 inches. On this side we have a special situation because of the room. In the next step I create diagonals to get the exact location for the trains. So far everything was done in 2D. Now I'm going to start to create the slopes and trains in 3D. To model the line for the high points of the slopes I use the feature Add Split Line. Now let's create the points for the trains. We use the feature at point. They are 4 inch deep. Some points are too close to a column. We need to move them.
Now I'm gonna add a train family. We cannot see them in the moment because I need to change the view range. Now they are visible. I'm going to delete the 2D green lines. As next, I'm going to add some annotation. A tag for the fluid train. spot elevations and spot slopes. Let's check the special condition on the other side. I'm going to move the train to the right side to make the slopes more equal. To get more slope, I move the point half an inch down. I also have to move the train family. You can decide if the underside of the floor slab should be sloped too or stay horizontal. How to do this, I show you in my tips and tricks video number 5. If you don't want to miss my next tips and tricks video, Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.